Breast hyperplasia is an overgrowth of cells, and actually women with breast hyperplasia are at a five times higher risk of getting breast cancer. Why does breast hyperplasia happen? The tissue in the breast is very hormonally sensitive. Imbalances between estrogen and progesterone chronically can lead to a lot of issues. Estrogen is the hormone that tells cells to divide. It's responsible for cell division. This is an amazing miracle of life. You need a lot of cell division, especially when you're creating a new baby and for other events, but that message of cell division isn't necessarily contained just for positive events in life. Sometimes if that message is overexpressed, then you can end up with things like fibrocystic breasts or breast hyperplasia, especially if you do not have enough progesterone to contain that message. Progesterone is an anti-estrogen. It prevents cell proliferation. They have this beautiful yin and yang relationship. But unfortunately, through things like the aging process where progesterone drops really fast or other lifestyle issues, progesterone isn't there to keep estrogen's growth message at bay. And so a lot of women end up with things like breast cancer, or hyperplasia, or fibrocystic breasts. The chronic balance of estrogen and progesterone is paramount. So why would your doctor say to stop the progesterone? Well, a lot of doctors confuse the word progestin, the synthetic version of progesterone and progesterone. Progestin can actually be estrogenic, and there's some studies that it is linked to breast hyperplasia, but that is not the same thing as progesterone, and it does not have all the amazing qualities of progesterone.